the time that music died, so to speak. We were doing life. Going to work, driving to appointments, picking up kids. Always in a rush, not one minute for a break. We were planning birthdays, weddings, and destinations. Sewing tutus for recitals, walking dogs over puddles. Going to festivals, movies, and concerts. Hung out with friends while we gossiped about our bad dates and the hot guy from accounting. We were free to go to the beach. We were free to go to the gym or to go sit and eat at our favorite taco spot. Hugs and kisses were welcome. And a cough wasn't cause for alarm. Toilet paper shelves were full and wearing a mask wasn't trending. We danced with others and fell in love under the stars. Social distancing was both unwanted and unheard of. Churches were filled by the masses and playgrounds with laughter. COVID will be remembered as a time when sports came to a stop. Concerts, festivals, and schools were canceled. We are history in the making. Uncertain times can bring one to reflect on our own journey in life. Many of us have become great cooks, musicians, dancers, teachers, and performers. than just we are in this together we are together we somehow got creative to maintain human connection whether through video chat through music or talking to a neighbor while standing six feet apart we have opened ourselves to what really matters gathering around a table for dinner or playing games in the patio out of this? Will you come out a better version of yourself? Who are you? Have you learned more about yourself? Will you come out healthier, stronger, better? As for me, there has never been a better time that I have been more in love with life than in this moment. I have been able to auto reflect on my relationships with my family, my kids, my friends, myself. I have discovered a deeper and profound love for my mom, for my dad, for my boys, for my worth. I have had a better understanding on the choices that I have made in my life through quarantine. I have been able to sit alone in my thoughts and understand why it is I have done a lot of the things that I have done through this time I have found that I am artistic, passionate, and driven. I've kicked some bad habits out the window that include wasting time on nonsense, wasting my time on people that don't deserve my time. I'm getting better sleep. I'm eating even healthier than I was before. I have bonded with my sisters. I have enjoyed my solitude discovering different aspects of me 
that I have completely fallen in love with. I discovered that I not only enjoy drawing, writing, reading, time by myself, but I have discovered that I am ready to take on this full big world and nothing is gonna stop me. I encourage you to auto-reflect and change many self-destructive behaviors that you know are getting in the way of your happiness. Stop binging on social media and Netflix. Instead, binge in art, music, reading, in nature, dance as if no one is watching, lay on the cold grass and just stare at the clouds. Stop overeating and eating unhealthy. Do indulge in your relationships that matter to you. Indulge in your kids. Listen to them. Look at them in the eyes when they're talking to you. Stop what you're doing to really listen. When was the last time you actually listened to your kids, to a friend? Stop staying up way too late. Who shut off electronics and TV at an appropriate time and really rest? Take a time to breathe. Turn on a candle. Enjoy a bubble bath. Just some quiet time alone with you and your thoughts. Stop expecting others to be there for you. Be there for others instead. Text or call the people that matter to you. Call your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your friend. Tell them that you're thinking about them, that you hope everything is fine with them. Check in on them. You never know what somebody is carrying unless you call them. And if you're gonna ask, how are you? Really listen. You'd be surprised how many people just want you to listen, to really listen. Say I love you to the people that you actually do love and care for. One of the things that I have learned to do and that I really love doing is telling the people that I love that I love them. This includes friends. I never used to tell friends how much I love them, but something in my life has really changed and made me reflect. Bring back painting, gardening, and playing outside. smile even if it's through the mask so today I encourage you to make little changes a lot of things are beginning to normalize as best as they can a lot of businesses are opening let this time be a time where you actually reflect on your life there has been research in past pandemics and natural disasters that people really are able to auto reflect on their life and make changes in their life and their habits. However, a lot of this change is only temporary. Studies show that only 10% of people actually make a permanent change to better themselves after these tough times in history. Let's make that 10% go up after this pandemic. Let's not only come out of this alive, but the best possible versions of ourselves. Better. Use this time to really think about the things that you didn't like when everything was normal, when we were free to go anywhere without a mask, where we would go to festivals, concerts, the movies, dancing, anywhere. Now we have to stand six feet apart. Most places require a mask. Let this time really be a time where you auto reflect on who you are and who you want to become. Kick out the bad habits. If you've been trying to lose weight and quarantine time has, has made you really think about your health and really think about life in a different way, start changing those habits. Make little changes. Drink more water, eat your greens, eat whole healthy foods. Garden, there's something about connecting with nature. Go for a hike, go to the beach. There's a lot of beaches that are starting to open up. Forgive those who have maybe hurt you in the past, but most of all, forgive yourself. There is no better school than the school of life. Learn from it. Let's really come out of this better people. Once again, thanks for joining me in my channel. 
Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to live a full, healthy, and intentional life. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!